Hello, my dear students. As in mates, you are responsible to make sure you and the people around you follow the instructions given by the government to fight against COVID-19. Then at the present situation, avoid going crowded places. Now I am here to teach you the third part of the poem, an elementary school classroom in a slum. Written by Stephen Spender. The theme of this poem is social injustice and class inequalities. We have already seen the pathetic conditions of the students who are sitting in the classroom. The even then the class the, uh, the even then many donated items have been pasted on the wall. The wall the class wall of the classroom is dirty. Many donated items have been pasted on the wall. Now move on to the poem. All of you take your literature reader. Surely Shakespeare is rich. The map is a bad example. With ships and sun and love tempting them to steal for lives that slyly tear in their cramped holes. From fog to endless night, on their slab heap, these children were skins peeped through by bones and spectacles of steel with mended glass like bottle bits of stones. All of their time and space are foggy slum, so blot their maps with the slum as because do. Listen. Now, Let's see line by line. Surely Shakespeare is rich. Picture of Shakespeare, portrait of Shakespeare is already pasted on the wall. The poet Stephen Spender calls this as rich. Rich here means not noble. Why? There is no quality education. They are not getting any quality education. They never learn about Shakespeare. So poet calls this as rich. The map a bad example. The map is also a bad example. Map here refers to the world of rich people. Many donated items have been already pasted that we have already seen. With ships and sun and love tempting them to steal for lives that slyly turn in their cramped holes. With ships and sun and love tempting them to steal. Uh, then listen, the worldly offerings such as sun, ship, love and care etc only tempting them to steal away all these things because they are not getting they are they do not get all these things that means they only tempt them to steal all these things listen once more the line with ships and sun and uh, love tempting them to steal for lives that slyly turn in their cramped divorce these worldly offerings only tempt them to steal all these things they do not get, they never get all these things. They do not get all these things. So, it only tempts them to steal all these things. So, Shakespeare, the poet calls this as witch. With ships and sun and love tempting them to steal for lives that slyly turn in their cramped divorce. Slyly here means secretly. For lives they slyly turn in their cramped divorce. They live like large rats in the cramped holes. Cramped holes here means narrow holes. They live like rats. They live secretly like rats in the cramped holes. From fog to endless night, their classroom is the whole world. There is no world beyond their poverty and hopelessness. From fog to endless night, then listen once more. Surely, Shakespeare is which the map a bad example with ships and sun and love tempting them to steal for lives that slyly turn in their cramped divorce from fog to endless night. Then what is the meaning of these uh, lines? The poet calls this as which. The uh, many donated items have been pasted on the wall. The portrait of Shakespeare is already also pasted there. The poet calls this as which because there is no quality education. He again says the map is also a bad example. Map refers to the world of rich people. The worldly offerings such as sun, sheep, love and care. That, that is also a bad example. These things only tempt them to steal all these things. Only tempt them to steal because they do not get all these things. They already they hand there all these things. All these worldly offerings only tempt them to steal because they do not get all these things. They live like rats in the uh, cramped holes. They live like rats in the narrow holes. That means their classroom is their whole world. There is no world beyond their uh, hopelessness, and beyond, beyond their classroom. There, there is no world beyond their classroom. That means their future is painted with a fog. The, fog, uh, the, the future is painted with a fog. The fog of hopelessness.
restlessness and hunger. Listen once more. Surely Shakespeare is with the mob a bad example with ships and sun and love tempting them to steal for lives that slyly turn in their cramped walls from fog to endless night. Listen. The I call this as rich because they do not get quality edu education. The map is also a bad example. Map refers to the world of rich people. The worldly offerings such as sun, ship, love and care, etc. only tempt them to steal. They do not get all these things. So, it only tempt them to steal. They live like rats in the cramped holes. They live like... They live secretively like cramped holes. That means their classroom is their whole world. There is no world beyond their poverty and hopelessness. And the next stanza. On their slack heap, these children wear skins peeped through by balls and spectacles of steel with mended glass like bottle bits on stones. All of their time and space are foggy slum, so blot their marks with slums as big as do. On their slack heap, that means their body look like garbage heap. These children wear skins peeped through by bones. Their bones are peeping out of their skin. Their bones are peeping out of their skin. Their bones are peeping out of their skin and spectacles of steel. They wear the spectacles of steel spectacles with mended glass like bottle bits on stones. They wore the spectacles, the steel spectacles with the mended glass like bottle bits on stones. All of their time and space are foggy slum. They spend their whole time in the school. So blot their marks in the slum as big as do. So blot their mark. Blot here means mark. They should mark their situation also in the map. Then map refers to the uh, refers to the rich people. The poet here says that they should also mark their situation on the map. Through this line, the poet shows his protest against social injustice and class inequalities. Their body look like garbage heap. These children. Their bonds are peeping out of their skin. Their bonds are peeping out of their skin. They wore the steel spectacles with the mended glass like bottle bits of stones. They, they spend the whole time. That means their the whole world is their classroom. There is no world beyond their poverty and hopelessness. So the poet says that they should also mark their situation on the map. Then map refer, actually refers to the uh, 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 rich people. Then here poet says they should also mark their situation on the map. Through this line, the poet shows his protest against social injustice and class inequalities. Then in this stanza, the boy says their body look like garbage heap. These children, they, their bones are peeping out of their skin. They wore steel spectacles with mended glass like bottle bits on stones. The poet says they should also mark that situation on the map. That here, this means the boy shows his protest against social injustice and class inequalities. There are the the two worlds, the world of the rich and world of the poor. So here the poet says that they should also mark their situation on the map. The map actually refers to the refers to rich people. Then here the poet mentions, the poet says they should also mark their situation on the map. On their slab heap, these children were skin speed through by bones and spectacles of steel with mended glass like bottle bits on stones. Bottle bits, which a poetic device is used in here? Bottle bits. Repetition of consonant sound alliteration. And spectacles of uh, steel with mended glass like bottle bits on stone. Like bottle bits, which a poetic device is used in here? Simile, like bottle bits on stone. All of this time and space are foggy slums, so blot their marks slums as big as do. Their body look like garbage heap, their bones are peeping out of their skin, they wore met, uh, steel spectacles with mended glass, they uh, spend all times in their classroom, they should also mark their situation on the map. That means here point shows his protest against social injustice and class inequalities. Then here today what we have seen today? The walls of the classroom already, the many donated items have been already pasted on the wall. The picture of Shakespeare is already pasted there. The poet calls this as wit. 
this has not noble because they are not getting any quality education they never learn about shakespeare the map he again says the map is also a bad example the map refers to the rich people the worldly offer many donated items have been already pasted then these things that means the ship sun and love and care only tempt them to steal all these things they do not have all these things so it only tempt them to steal all these things they spend the whole their classroom is their whole world there is no world beyond their hopelessness and hunger hunger the their future is uncertain their body look like garbage heap they were the bones are peeping out of their skin they wore spectacles in the mental class like bottle bits or stones they they so the boy task them to mark their marks with the, their situation is also marked on the map then that means here the boy shows his protest against social injustice and class inequalities then okay all of you understand meenakshi can you summarize uh, the third stanza the wall of the classroom are dirty many donated items already pasted there the boy calls the this as which because they never get quality education they never learn about shakespeare so boy calls this as which then map is also a bad example map refers to the rich people the many uh, the worldly offerings such as ship sun love and care only tempt them to steal they do not get all these things their world is their classroom there is no world beyond their hopelessness and hunger there is no world beyond the beyond their hopelessness and hunger that means their future is uncertain their future is uncertain their body look like garbage heap the bones are peeping out of their skin they wore uh, steel spectacles in the mended glass so the poet asked them to make their own map by indicating all these things this shows the poet's protest against social injustice and class inequalities in this stanza we have seen when the donated items have been already pasted there the portrait of shakespeare is also there the poet calls this as because they never get quality education they never learn about shakespeare the map is also a bad example it refers to the rich people they the value offering such as sun ship love and care only tempt them to steal they do not have all these things their classroom is their whole world there is no world beyond their poverty and hopeless hopelessness they all they always spend their time in their classroom that means their future is uncertain their body look like garbage heap the bones are peeping out of their skin they wore steel spectacles with mended glass so poet asked them to they should also ma uh, develop their own maps by indicating all these things this shows the poet's protest against social injustice and class inequalities that is the theme of this poem i think all of you understand this stanza all of you read this several times i will send you the notes through whatsapp if you have any doubt you can contact me thank you all